Real quick, before we get started with today's video, I wanna let you guys know there's a link at the very top of the description. You can click that if you wanna grab yourself a classic black Dewaki t-shirt. These are backed by popular demand. There's no time limit on them. I get so many questions on this shirt that I talked to the guys at Success Print Shop who make this for me. And I said, hey, can we have this there just indefinitely forever? And he was like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. So he created a link for me. There's a store link down there. Click on that if you wanna get one. Again, no time limit this time like we've done in the past where there's a two week window. If you don't get it, you get cut off. And a lot of people miss that two week window and I get tons of questions about these shirts. So there they are, grab yourself one if you want one, but let's get started with the video. So I've got our color samples for the brick. Yes, we have three samples in here. I don't know if these are gonna be the ones, but we're gonna throw them on, see what we think. We're gonna see what you guys think of them down in the comments below. And speaking of comments, I did not know that painting brick was such a political issue. I mean, people are extremely against it or extremely for it. It's pretty crazy. It's like nobody rides the middle ground in this issue. So thankfully I'm not trying to get elected in anything. So I'm gonna still paint the brick. So perfect timing, Ashley's coming out here now. And I was just telling them how, you know, painting brick is such a political issue because you're either for it or against it. But one of the things I wanna make clear for everyone who's following along with this is if the original brick was carried throughout the, to the addition, would we consider painting it? No, I would talk him out of it. Yeah. Told him that. I'm like, there's no way I'd let you paint the brick if it matched. I wish it could match, but I don't, I mean, I, I don't think there's possible. I think this they is, matched it as best they could. Yeah, and I think they did a good job. But they did. Every time we drive up, because it's on our side, we drive into the driveway, I'm reminded that this doesn't match and it just bugs me. I was telling Richard, it's like when you have like your your hood and your front fenders painted one color and then the back is like yeah. a different color. Like I know it's cool sometimes to have like your hood one color, <laughs> like a like a shutter, a shutter yeah. can be a different color, like an, an accent, accent. Yeah. yeah. But this is just like, I don't know if you ever wrecked your car and you have like half of it done, you know? Like, like half it of it's primer. probably you. Yeah, exactly. Well, we just like a uniform look. We want yeah, it to be it? consistent, you know? you know? Like, so if that's number one, if this was all matching all with the original 30s brick, we would leave it. We I'd wouldn't be, consider yeah, it at I'd all. I'd be so happy. Because we like it. It yes, looks awesome. I love the original color. So that's one of the reasons, because we want the two bricks to match. And yeah. they did a good job matching the texture of the brick. Again, yeah. that's not exact. But I think once it's all painted, you're not even going to really notice that. Now, one of the other reasons we really want to paint this is we're going to add some windows in the kitchen area. And matching original brick and mortar is pretty much impossible. I mean, they couldn't even match the original bricks here or else they would have done that with the addition. So I'm gonna be doing all this work myself because I love learning about any type of craft, masonry, tile, carpentry, obviously. And, you know, I don't really wanna go down that road of trying to match something that I'm probably not gonna be able to and just end up pulling my hair out. There are little cracks on this house already that need repair and I've seen people try to repair them in this neighborhood, other neighborhoods, and when the mortar doesn't match and the technique isn't the same, it's almost just worse than the crack itself. Like the repair draws more attention to that area than the crack did originally. So basically what I'm saying is when we have the painted brick, it's gonna give us an easier option when we add windows or we do something to the exterior of the house. It's not gonna be like, oh man, we, we can't do that because we gotta match the brick. Well, no, we don't. We just have to match the texture of the brick and then we can just paint over it. So those are some of the reasons why we're doing this. Those are really the main reasons. Now let's talk about the cons of it. You know, obviously people are gonna say the maintenance and I would actually argue that one. Um, I found a product through the comments in the last couple of videos and also just doing research online. It's a, a product from Italy. We'll talk about it more because that's the product we're going to use. We'll talk about it more when it comes time to actually do the application of the paint here. But with that being said, guys, we need to look at these colors that we just bought. So I'm going to go out back and uh, we'll throw these colors up on the wall and see which one she likes. Because like most of you guys know, this is not really my decision. This is the happy wife, happy life kind of moment. And one other thing, guys, I power washed this like last weekend, if you caught the video. And uh, yeah, I'm letting it dry because I shoved that water into it with the pressure washer. So I know the bricks definitely absorb some of that moisture. 
but with the product we're going to be painting with i really don't think that's even going to be an issue but it worked out perfectly because we have a two week long job that we're in the middle of so we finished our first week this past week we're going to finish it up this week and i'm hoping we can paint the following week that's what i'm really going for if the weather cooperates if we finish this job on time but i did want to throw that out there because I know when you power wash something, you kind of shove moisture into it at that high pressure with the pressure washer. And um, it's not something you wanna paint immediately after. So it's pretty hot out here now. So I think this, these bricks are gonna, you know, get rid of all that, evaporate it. And we should be good by the time it actually comes to apply the paint. Well, the shop is a complete mess right now because we're working out in the field and it becomes a catch-all. But quick update on the bandsaw, I got myself an actual resaw blade now and I was making some veneers so that thing works out really good and the other thing is I got myself some window sash bits in this nice Amana tool display kit so I intend to fill that up with all Amana bits and I'll be in business right Josh <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the area where I'm gonna do the testing. We'll throw them up right here and uh, see which one she likes. We have our color samples, we have our wall, and we have our decider right here to see what she wants to do. And let's show you the colors because they're very similar. I'll read you the names first. They're all Benjamin Moore colors. This one is called Cameo White. That was your choice. Off-white. This one right here is mine. This is called Sugar Cookie. White see the theme here and then we got another one of yours Wyndham cream which is an offer white so we have all these whoops, we have all of these off whites that are kind of creamy I tend to lean more white she tends to lean more tan creamyish, right mm -hmm. so these are kind of marriage colors just meeting right in the middle so we're gonna give them a shot we'll start with mine Right? Yeah, that we can get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go with the sugar cookie first. Well, no, that's pretty creamy actually. I don't know how good the camera's gonna pick that up, but that's not white. It's pretty dang white. It's the whitest one of the three we have. So let's do it. If you make this cottage like farmhouse, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> Just put it out there. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is gonna look farmhouse. Okay. We love farmhouse, but this isn't a farmhouse. Some people are cringing Ooh. out there. <laughs> like I said, it's like a train wreck. You just can't look away. <laughs> you don't want to see what's happening, but you can't look away. Hey, this brushing actually works really good to get into those textures. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how I'm going to do this. That's pretty bright. Don't lie. I'll give you that. It's pretty bright. But I, I like it though. I really like it. I think I'm going to brush this house. This is actually not bad. I'll be out here for about a week, but pretty good with a brush. Please make it stop. <laughs> I'm almost done with the first sample. I like it a lot. This isn't going to work then. <laughs> you don't like it at all? No. Do you think that's like, did they paint it or was it always that color? Or do you think that's like, oh, Okay, okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right, so this is not the color that we're going to use. Let me go clean my brush and we'll get, what color do you want next? I think we just go all the way cream. Well, we're, let's do all of them. Give me the, give me the middle of the road, then we'll do the cream. All right. Can you put this lid on? I'm going to go clean my brush. All right. Yeah. That's the okay. middle, that's the middle road. Cameo white? Yeah, that's the All right, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be that one. Or none of these. Yeah, it might be none. Let's see. Should I keep going or no? Just do the whole sample, right? I think that looks better. All right, I think that's enough for us to see, right? Yeah. We don't, we're not gonna use this either. Okay. Okay. Well, this might be three strikes we're out on this one. That, okay, that's getting closer. Yeah. That's getting a lot closer. Doesn't hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Yeah. Yeah? I think we're in the realm now, at least. Yeah. I yeah. think, I actually think we need to probably get more samples. Yeah, because. Yeah, I'm liking that one though. I'm not liking these at all now. Dude, that was like, right when we walked in, I saw this and I was like, this is the one. And then I was like, 
wait, that's too yellow. Like, you know when you, like, see something that you like, you're like, I like it, and then you start overthinking it. And yes. You're like, maybe I don't like it. But that was, like, the very first one. Especially when you have someone else there telling you, like, no, that's too creamy, which was me. But now I'm, like, leaning more that way. Well, let's see how it dries. I really thought that sugar cookie was going to be it. It is so wrong, though. This stuff's pretty easy to paint, too. Just get yourself, like, a four or five inch brush. What just get of, after so it. this is just, like... Sample paint. Just sample paint. Eggshell, yeah. Okay. Ours is going to be flat. So it'll have that more natural look to it, like masonry. Here we have it. We have our bright, our middle of the road, and our cream. I think we need to get a couple more creams just to see, but this might be the one. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you think. We may go back to Texas paint and wallpaper and get a couple more colors in this realm and just put them right here and uh, see what we decide on. But definitely on the next video regarding the house, we will more than likely be painting and we'll have our color, we'll have our product. We'll be doing some cleanup on those vines, which I have a good idea to get rid of those vines. But as far as getting on the right track, I think we're there. And I think it's a big day because we both agreed on something. All right, guys, there we have it. We have our three colors that we originally chose up on the wall. And you can see which one we're leaning towards now. So here's a close up on that. And a big inspiration for really going with this creamy color, it just reminds us of a cottage house. We went downtown, we walked around, we looked at some buildings that were historical buildings that were painted, and a lot of them were in this kind of family of colors, and they look really good. They look kind of like they've always been that way, and that's what we want. We don't want it to be like, boom, look at this house screaming for attention. We want it to be just a subtle paint color like that, just a nice cream, and I think we're on the right track. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Let us know what you think of these colors. We're always up for suggestions, for advice. Leave any tips, comments, anything down below. We'll check into it. And uh, a lot of the comments in the last couple of videos have opened my eyes to products I didn't even know existed, and you'll see that coming up very soon. So definitely stay tuned, definitely check out the Dewaki Tees if you guys wanna grab one. Like I said at the beginning of the video, they'll be at the link at the very top of the description and they're there forever. So go get yourself one if you're so inclined. I really appreciate it if you do. Definitely help support the channel and help making these videos. So other than that, we'll see you guys on the next video.